lot of controversy over a proposed desalination plant in Huntington Beach, similar to what we have here in Carlsbad. A final vote to determine if the plan will move forward is scheduled for Thursday. But as ABC 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala explains, some opponents are pushing back. Um, we developed the project in Carlsbad and have been operating that facility since we came online in 2015. In that time, we have produced well, almost 90 billion gallons of fresh water for San Diego County residents. Jessica Jones is with Poseidon Water, the company that runs the seawater desalination facility in Carlsbad, turning ocean water into fresh drinking water, providing 10% of our county's supply. Poseidon is also pushing to build a desalination plant in Huntington Beach. Which will also produce 50 million gallons of fresh drinking water for about 400,000 Orange County residents. Jones says that daily amount is significant given California's drought conditions. The water that comes out of the Carlsbad facility and the water that will come out of this Huntington Beach facility is the only climate resilient water in the county. What that means is that it's not dependent on snowpack in the Sierras or local rainfall. But not everyone is on board with the plan. Opponents have pointed out concerns over environmental conservation, marine life, rise in water bills, and the hefty $1.4 billion project cost. The Surfrider Foundation calls the plan unnecessary, expensive, and destructive, saying this process uses more energy than water recycling, and arguing that the intake pipes will suck up marine life. The screens at the intake are one millimeter screens. The tiny larvae that are brought into the plant would equate to about a pound and a half of fish every day. That is about the daily diet of one brown pelican. Recently, a California Coastal Commission staff report recommended that the project be denied. The California-based Stop Poseidon Coalition praised that recommendation, but on May 12th, the Coastal Commission will have a final vote, deciding if the company will move forward with construction. Mimi Alcala, ABC 10 News. Governor Newsom has shown support for that project, but Jones worries if it is denied by the Coastal Commission, it could mean an end to desalination plants in California.